Hello and welcome to Med4 Care. Today's topic is polycuria. Let's find out together what it is. Polycuria is the little known name for a fairly common disorder. Do you have any idea what we are talking about? Simple, the term polycuria comes from ancient Greek and indicates the need to urinate very often. Determining when peeing too often becomes a problem is complicated because there is no absolute value of normality. However, there is a limit to the variability beyond which we can talk about pathology. But what are the causes of this disorder? Among the most frequent are urinary infections such as cystitis which lead to urinating often and in small volumes. This is often associated with other symptoms such as difficulty urinating, pain when urinating, and spasmodic contraction of the bladder muscles. Another possible cause is urinary stones. The presence of stones, especially in the case of gravel or microstones, continuously irritates the excretory path and causes inflammation. The presence of masses in the abdomen may also be at the origin of polycuria. This is the case, for example, of benign prostatic hypertrophy in men, or uterine fibroids, and ovarian masses in women. Especially for women, hormonal conditions can also significantly affect the frequency of urination. For example, pregnancy as well as menopause involve a more frequent urge to urinate. Endocrine problems such as diabetes also increase the number of urinations. This happens both because diabetes itself causes polyuria and for the neurological disorders that can result from it. Indeed, also neurological problems such as spinal cord injuries and mental illnesses such as anxiety and depression can also be associated with polycuria. The diagnosis of polycuria is therefore complex and often requires special care by the doctor. For this reason, during the anamnesis it is useful to ask the patient to keep avoiding diary to avoid subjective overestimation. The doctor asks the patient if there are also symptoms associated with the problem. This identifies the probability of a urinary infection or obstructive or hormonal urination disorders. For example, worrying symptoms could be fever, tachycardia, Flank pain as they are often associated with pyelonephritis, a bacterial infection affecting one or both kidneys. During the physical examination, the doctor carries out targeted inspections based on the patient's sex. In men, he will inspect the testicles and epididymis and ascertain the state of health of the prostate through anal inspection. In women, he will conduct a careful pelvic exam including vaginal exploration. Among the tests useful for the diagnosis of polycuria we can mention for example chemical physical examination of the urine, urine culture and antibiogram. If these tests are not enough, the doctor may prescribe further tests such as ultrasound of the excretory tract, CT scan of the abdomen, urography, cystoscopy, prostate biopsy, once the diagnosis of polycuria has been ascertained, the doctor will prescribe an appropriate therapy that will depend on the underlying cause of the disease. The solutions will therefore be very diversified, for example, in the case of urinary infections, the doctor may prescribe an antibiotic therapy. While a surgical intervention may be necessary in the case of kidney stones. In any case, to treat the problem properly we shouldn't underestimate this disorder and contact a doctor to find the underlying causes and suggest the most appropriate solutions. We are now at the end of today's video, we hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, please support us with a nice like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon on Med4Care.